Biostar Valkyrie Motherboard Review Biostar's latest entry into the motherboard's market carries a brand we're all familiar with in the Killer SLI. The Killer SLI is the flagship offering from Biostar, and unlike the other companies, they only offer this one motherboard on the Z170 chipset. On paper, this motherboard is just about everything you can expect from a high-end motherboard. You've got multiple PC 5.0 ports, multiple MSATA 3.0 connectors, robust power delivery to handle whatever CPU you throw at it, and a quality audio solution. When talking strictly about specs and features, this is a very high-end motherboard. On the performance front, the X570 Aorus Master performed very well, maintaining a high level of stability and speed throughout our benchmarking process. We ran DDR4 for our tests, however, so the board may not perform as well if running DDR5. Our G-Skill Trident Z Royal Kit was unable to pass our test suite under any circumstances, so we can only recommend it for those who do not require a large amount of RAM. The Valkyrie is a high-end motherboard designed for gamers who demand the best possible gaming experience. With support for Intel's latest processors and graphics technology, including the new X299 chipset, the Valkyrie offers unparalleled performance for your PC. The VRM is cooled by five 100A power phase converters, delivering Apple power to keep your system running smoothly during intense games. The onboard audio solution includes an HD audio codec, allowing you to enjoy rich sound quality through your speakers. And with dual M.2 slots supporting both MEM SSDs and 2.5 inches drives, you'll never run out of space again. For those interested in comparing the specs of the X670E motherboards, here is a comprehensive list of the X670 motherboard specifications. The X670E features a glossy black PCB with white accents and a large RGB logo. The heatsink covers much of the top side of the board, leaving only the front I.O. area exposed. A small portion of the heatsink extends down into the VRM zone, giving it a unique appearance. Underneath the heatsink is a single row of LEDs that light up the rear of the motherboard. These LEDs can be controlled via software to change colors and patterns. The rest of the board is covered in copper, allowing for high-quality audio circuitry and solid ground planes. At $149, the X670E is one of the least expensive motherboards we've seen with a full RGB lighting system. Focusing on the upper half of the motherboard, we see the large heat pipe mounted VRM heatsink and the Valkyrie branding on its IO panel. The VRM heatsink is loaded with wide miter cuts to increase cooling capacity and performance. Spoiler, these do a good job of maintaining the VRMs within spec. Above the VRM cooler are two 8-pin PC slots to provide additional graphics card support. Continuing right past the sockets, we find four reinforced DDR5 RAM slots with a locking mechanism on both ends. BioStar lists compatibility up to DDR5 which is on the lower end comparatively, as many other motherboards can go up to DDR5 or higher. That said, we found ourselves having a lot of trouble with the stability of the memory config, in that we couldn't get the GDX spec stable across both memory sets. We did not experience any issues during testing, however, and we expect BIOS updates to mitigate these issues. For now, if you purchase a pair of memory modules on their memory QVL, you should be good to go. However, it is a very small QVL, so make sure you check your motherboard manual before ordering. We move beyond the DRAM slots, where we encounter the first three 4-pin fan header ports. All of these ports offer both PWM and DC control of their associated fan, but there isn't any indication of the maximum supported current for each port. It's best to just go by the lowest common denominator of 12 watts, which would be the worst case scenario for most people, 